Ethical and Social Issues in Information Systems Introduction The field of information systems raises various ethical, social, and political issues that require careful consideration. These issues encompass the impact of technology on society, individual privacy, intellectual property, accountability, system quality, and the overall quality of life. Understanding and addressing these concerns are essential for individuals and organizations operating in the digital age. The Scope of Ethical and Social Issues Ethics, principles of right and wrong that individuals, acting as free moral agents, use to make choices to guide their behaviors. Ethical and social issues in information systems are broad and encompass questions of right and wrong in decision-making. Information systems create new opportunities for social change, introduce new forms of crime, and necessitate the development of ethical guidelines. The relationship between ethical, social, and political dimensions is complex and dynamic, requiring a thorough understanding to make informed choices in areas that lack clear legal frameworks. Differences between computer crime and abuse Computer crime refers to the use of computers for illegal purposes. Computer abuse is the commission of acts involving a computer that may not be illegal but are considered unethical. Spam or unwelcome commercial emails. False news, deals, and services that are misleading information. The moral dimensions of the information society. Five key moral dimensions emerge within the information society. These dimensions include information rights and obligations, property rights and obligations, accountability and control, system quality, and the quality of life. Information rights and obligations refers to what rights individuals and organizations have with respect to information relating to them. Property rights and obligations refers to how to protect intellectual property rights when it is so easy to copy digital materials. Accountability and control refer to who will be held accountable and liable for the harm done to individual and collective information and property rights. System quality refers to what standards of data and system quality we should demand to protect individual rights and society's safety. Quality of life refers to what values should be preserved in an information and knowledge-based society. What institutions and cultures should we protect from violation? will be most difficult for society to deal with in societies that are comprised of many different cultural and ethnic groups. Each dimension poses unique challenges that require attention, and organizations should establish corporate ethics policies to guide individuals and promote ethical decision-making in these areas. Technological Trends and Ethical Issues Advancements in computing power, data storage, analysis techniques, networking, and mobile devices give rise to ethical concerns. These include issues related to data privacy, surveillance, profiling, intellectual property protection, and the impact of technology on society. Addressing these challenges requires balancing innovation with ethical considerations and ensuring the responsible use of technology. Basic Concepts Profiling, combining data from multiple sources to create dossiers of detailed information on individuals. Non-obvious relationship awareness, nor a combining data from multiple sources to find obscure hidden connections that might help identify criminals or terrorists. Responsibility is a key element of ethical action. This means accepting the potential costs, duties, and obligations for decisions. Accountability is a feature of systems and social institutions. It means mechanisms for identifying responsible parties. Liability extends the concept of life responsibilities further to the area of laws. Features of political system permits individuals and firms to recover damages done to them. Due process is a related features of law-governed societies and is a process in which laws are well known and understood, with an ability to appeal to higher authorities. Ethical Analysis Five-step process for ethical analysis Identify and clearly describe the facts. Define the conflict or dilemma and identify the higher order values involved. Identify the stakeholders. Identify the options that you can reasonably take. Identify the potential consequences of your options. Candidate ethical principles. Golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Immanuel Kant's categorical imperative, if an action is not right for everyone to take, it is not right for anyone. 
Slippery slope rule, if an action cannot be taken repeatedly, it is not right to take at all. Utilitarian principle, take the action that achieves the higher or greater value. Risk dislike principle, take the action that produces the least harm or potential cost. Ethical no free lunch rule, assume that virtually all tangible and intangible objects are owned by someone unless there is a specific declaration otherwise. Privacy and freedom in the internet age. Privacy is a fundamental right, and the Internet introduces challenges to preserving individual privacy. Practices such as cookies, web beacons, spyware, and data gathering raise concerns about surveillance, data security, and control. Technical solutions like encryption and anonymity tools can offer some privacy protection, but comprehensive solutions are still needed to safeguard privacy in the digital era. What is privacy and information rights? Privacy is the claim of individuals to be free from surveillance or interference, allowing them to control their personal information. Information rights refer to the ability to maintain control over one's own data and have the freedom to determine how it is used. Internet Challenges to Privacy The Internet presents various challenges to privacy, including the use of cookies, web beacons, spyware, and the extensive data collection practices of major players like Google. These technologies and practices can track users' online activities, monitor email readership, and collect personal information without explicit consent. Cookies are small text files deposited on a computer hard drive when a user visits websites. These LSOs can track user activities across multiple websites, even if the user has cleared their browser cookie. Super cookies, flash cookies, can store a larger amount of data, including user preferences, browsing history, and login credentials. Websites can use this stored information to personalize content, track user behavior, and deliver targeted advertisements. Web beacons, web bugs, simply tracking files, are tiny software programs that keep a record of users' online clickstreams. They come via tiny graphics embedded in emails, web pages. Also, monitor who is reading email message or visiting site. Spyware secretly install itself on user's computer by piggybacking on larger applications. Once installed, the spyware calls out to websites to send banner ads and it report the user's movements. May transmit user's keystrokes or display unwanted ads. Google Services and Behavioral Targeting, largest collector of online user data. Information Gathering, the United States allows businesses to gather transaction information and use this for other marketing purposes. Opt-out vs. Opt-in model. Opt-out, a model of informed consent permits the collection of personal information until the consumer specifically requests the data not to collect it. Opt-in, model of informed consent in which a business is prohibited from collecting any personal information. How cookies identify web visitors. Cookies are small text files that websites deposit on users' computers. When a user visits a website, the server transmits a cookie that contains identification information, allowing the website to recognize and track the user during subsequent visits. This information includes details about the user's browser, operating system, and internet address. Technical Solutions Various technical solutions aim to protect user privacy during online interactions. These include email encryption, which converts readable text into scrambled ciphertext, and anonymity tools that safeguard user identities. Anti-spyware tools are designed to prevent and detect unwanted spyware installations, ensuring user privacy. As well as, browser features like private browsing and do not track options. However, it is important to note that despite these solutions, there are still challenges in completely protecting users from being tracked across different websites. Intellectual property and property rights. Intellectual property means tangible and intangible products of the mind created by individuals or corporations. Protection includes copyrights, patents, trademarks, and trade secrets. It faces unique challenges in the digital age. The ease of replication, transmission, alteration, and difficulties in establishing uniqueness pose threats to intellectual property rights. Legal frameworks, such as the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, provide some level of protection, but ongoing efforts are necessary to address these challenges effectively. 
Copyright is a statutory that protects creators of intellectual property from having their work copied by others for any purpose during the life of the author plus an additional 70 years after the author's death. Patents grants the owner an exclusive control on the ideas behind an invention for 20 years. The concepts in patent law are the originality, novelty, and invention. Trademarks are the marks, symbols, and images used to distinguish products in the marketplace. Trademarks law protect the consumers by ensuring they receive what they paid for. Trade secret, used for business purposes. It is law grant a control on the ideas behind a work product. Liability and system quality. Determining responsibility and liability in cases of software failure or harm can be complex. Differentiating software as a machine, a book, or a service affects accountability. Additionally, ensuring system quality encompasses addressing software bugs, hardware failures, and data quality issues. Striving for an acceptable level of system quality is vital to protect individual rights and maintain the safety of society. Computer-related liability problems. If the software fails, who is responsible? If seen as part of a machine that injures or harms, software producer and operator may be liable. If seen as similar to the book, difficult to hold the author slash publisher responsible. If seen as a service, would this be similar to telephone systems not being liable for transmitted messages? System quality, data quality, and system errors. What is an acceptable, technologically feasible level of system quality? Perfect software is economically unfeasible. Three principal sources of poor system performance. Software bugs, errors. Hardware or facility failures. Poor input data quality, a most common source of business system failure. Quality of life and social consequences. Information systems have both positive and negative impacts on the quality of life. Balancing power dynamics, maintaining boundaries between different domains, and addressing issues like dependence, helplessness, computer crime, and abuse are crucial. Ethical considerations must prioritize equity, access, and societal well-being while navigating the rapid changes brought about by information systems. Negative social consequences of systems. Balancing power, center versus border. Rapidity of change, reduced response time to competition. Maintaining boundaries, family, work, and leisure. Dependence and helplessness. Computer crime and abuse. Employment and technology. Technological advancements can have profound effects on employment patterns. Trickle-down technology, this term describes the effect of a new or advanced technology spreading and influencing other technologies in a specific ecosystem. It refers to how advancements in one layer or level of technology can impact and benefit lower-level technologies. Re-engineering job loss. Re-engineering job loss is a management practice that involves radically redesigning the tasks and processes required to achieve a particular business objective. This restructuring can sometimes lead to the elimination or reduction of certain job roles as organizations seek, seek to optimize efficiency and effectiveness in their operations. Conclusion. Ethical and social issues in information systems present a range of challenges in the digital era. These issues encompass privacy, intellectual property, liability, system quality, quality of life, and the impact on employment. By recognizing and addressing these concerns, individuals and organizations can navigate the ethical and social implications effectively, fostering a responsible and inclusive digital society.